forgot how to start my videos. <laughs> Brain fart. I was going to say good morning. Hello. How do I do this? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sochil. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can keep up with more videos. Today, I just want to do a casual chit chat. Get ready with me. I know I did not get around to posting a video last week. It was crazy. So I was like, you know what? How about we just chit chat while i get ready to have a face on because i'm gonna do some photos some reels so let's get to it and i've already prepped my face and i went in with my good molecule silicone free priming moisturizer after my other moisturizers i have to restock on my brujita skincare soon just waiting for october i was like you have some other skincare you can use in the meantime so we're gonna do that for the face, I'm going to go in with the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation because it's been a minute since I've used it on here. And I thought we can chat, we can chat. And I'm still wearing like my PJ or like, yeah, my non work clothes, work from home clothes. I mean, there's probably not too much of a difference <laughs> since we work from home. And I don't know. So I'm the type of person who works from home and I'm like, hey, if I want to wear a hoodie, I wear a hoodie. If I want to wear a crew neck sweatshirt, I'll do that. If I want to wear a t-shirt, I'll do that. I mean, I guess try not to keep it inappropriate, but sometimes you can keep the camera, you know? Are you the type of person, if you work from home, do you like dress up, dress up? At most, I'll like do my face. I'll semi do my hair i'll comb it i guess <laughs> if i'm gonna be filming if i'm filming you know obviously my face will be a little bit more made up or if i'm like taking photos my hair will be a little bit more combed depending what it is but clothes wise i don't know zoom keep it somewhat professional at least not totally sleazy <laughs> but i'm the kind of person who i perform well with sweatpants and you know just comfy clothes in general i don't know if anybody like you have to for your job if you work from home i don't know what difference employers thinks it makes mine's pretty chill it's like hey just get your job done i you know do my best negotiations my best work yoga pants sweatpants as long as i'm cozy because if i'm uncomfortable i don't understand how that's gonna make me work better you get me you get me so just curious about other people but at least i feel like if anything when i have a face on that's when i feel like let's go face and coffee for sure um elf hydrating camel concealer because i that's where i do see the difference for myself personally that's the other one makeup with zoom calls work from home do you bother with your makeup do you do the minimal makeup i'll do at least for sure concealer <laughs> and brows there have been some times where i've been just exhausted so i'm like all right let's at least get brows and some mascara on like even with like a, a concealer but i do like sometimes feel a difference there when i don't wear makeup i'm definitely i am just exhausted i think the other day i did brows and glasses and that could you could just tell i feel like makeup definitely wakes me up and just makes me feel a little bit more put together and ready to conquer the day i don't know if anybody else is similar but makeup for me that's where i see the difference maybe it's us glam girls i don't know oh that was the other thing uh so recently going in with the nyx hd finishing powder so i had gone out it's been a minute <laughs> since i've gone out gone out all the other than my wedding um but i went out for my cousin's bachelorette and it was nice because it was like our own little space too to kind of have but i was like what are people wearing out to like bars like like downtown bar you know like i if you're here in chicago i love chill places more so like simone's i'm not down for like that clubbing scene anymore like i'm good i am good i don't care to dance really like i have to be pretty drunk to want to dance <laughs> but i was like what do i wear what are what's the fashion trends i feel like so out of the game what do i do but luckily there was a uh, some nice uh pointers instructions <laughs> you know bachelorettes so it was like all black and it was like kind of gonna have like burlesque performance stuff so it's like okay okay cool i can do that 
um and thank you amazon because my other go-to spot was going to be like all right we need something a little bit more you know a little bit more dressy my fallback was going to be discovery but i was like you know what ain't nobody got time ain't nobody got time to go nowhere so amazon for the win 16 dollars. yes thank you for the outfit but i just felt so out of the game and then makeup wise i was like oh my gosh like glam glam makeup other than for like youtube and i'm trying to think that other one time i went out to dinner randomly because i was like oh i want to play with this new palette which i'll show you guys and i have to do like a legit tutorial for you guys because i've just been playing with it but i have to like feature it you know oh and also i went to get my brows done. i feel like the brow lady totally made them way thinner than they should be i was like okay luckily i'm very hairy and my hairs go back quick so <clears throat> Okay, brows are going to be what brows are going to be. I use the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. I've been trying to buy, which I love this one. I've been trying to buy the Wet n Wild, my usual, re bleh, usual retractable one. And I personally just like that one better because it's just quicker. Because I do have pretty like thick, why well, did I have thicker brows? So that one just just even quicker and easier because I don't need like super defined. But this works. So I've just been buying the Maybelline one because for some reason... I have not seen the wet and wild one. I don't know. Work that out. <laughs> that, that one's really good, but oh well. Okay, now for my bronzer, I am going to go with my Fenty. I was like, mm, Fenty Alamar. I want and need to try a new a bronzer because my Anastasia Beverly Hills is pretty much done. I'm pretty sure that one's expired too, so we shouldn't. And so I have Fenty both cream. I have my Alamar, but I don't know. Are there any new bronzers? Should I try the new Anastasia cream one? I do love me a good cream bronzer. And especially when I'm like, for dry skin, I love a cream bronzer in general. And if I'm just working for home, something to just kind of like add for some dimension i do like that so suggestions on any new bronzers i should try out i always like to try some new new you know and review for you guys drugstore high end i'm trying to think of any drugstore i keep peeking to see like hey are there any new drugstore releases i don't know i know the world's been weird so we shall see but i do miss new makeup i do have a like is it tints and moisturizer i have to do the la girl one but my nose has been weird so i was like i want to give it a chance it's been looking good it's been my like nose dandruff stuff i don't know if it's just stress i feel like it is so <laughs> i've been just trying to let that come down and then with the seasons changing just trying to give it a chance i'm gonna keep it pretty minimal on the face because we're gonna go with a bold lip because <clears throat> we're gonna do photos but just to kind of show you guys what i've been working with this is the victress this is the brand latina owned victress by lily and this is the las adelitas palette so cute i really love the colors especially for fall but we are going to keep it pretty simple here and i just wanted to play with some eyeshadows I'm going to use my BK Beauty blushes, but I love, it's so simple, this loyalty one, but for like, especially like, just a lid, I don't know, something simple. And I'm not going to do too much because I'm going to play with the new, the Kiss, what is it? It's, it's like the glue liner. I was like, mm. so it's your eyeliner and glue at the same time. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Cristina and Lolita just in my crease, just to give it a little... A little color nice little like almost like blush tones and then i did see alamar cosmetics came out with the new highlight should i try it out is highlights still a thing i haven't used it you know i haven't used i haven't used it since my wedding in august and now i can't find my highlight <laughs> and because i did do a pretty good big makeup cleanup i keep seeing that meme on tiktok if you were like a makeup addict from like 2015 to 2019 now you have all this like expired makeup i was like that's me i but i was good in 2020 i did do a huge cleanup because i was like we need to get rid of some things and some of these are just for display but trying to find some new palettes trying to find some new products to play with and just in general so they're new but yeah that's all i'm gonna do just with my crease because what I want to try, so Kiss Lashes, they had sent me, not this one, not my, this is my regular eyeliner. It's crazy. So this is a lash glue liner. So it's your liner and your lash glue. 
so it's a felt tip one so let's see and i'm gonna go in with the what do you call it this was my kiss lashes so let's see let's see damn i'm almost done with my face actually maybe like blow dry my hair and stuff i don't know if i'll curl it today i'm feeling lazy probably not okay let's see Ooh. so this is also the glue this is crazy Okay. I don't know how long I have. I keep in the shampoo. Maybe it works and be like, what you got lashes on for? <laughs> Let's just see. What? Okay. No way. No way. This is crazy. Okay, let's see. No way. Yeah, girl. Oh. Yo, ho, ho, ho. This. What? Okay. What? I've been afraid to use it because I was like, does it work? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's sticking on. I'm like trying to make sure. But yeah, look at that. Holy cow. Yo. That's pretty cool. That's revolutionary. <laughs> that's crazy i wonder how it'll stay on so let me know if you guys want updates maybe i'll film like a a tiktok like real thing but yeah girl look at that them lashes see how good they stay on throughout the day what maybe we'll have to do like a check-in this is crazy okay maybe next time i'll do wing but i was like let's just see if we can get it <laughs> and plus like sometimes sometimes i don't always feel like i need a wing if i'm going Bold on the lip. I've been and I'm lazy. Crazy. Yo. Interesting. Cause I was like, I feel like with this method, you are more guaranteed to get it like proper placement. Cause I was like, what if you mess up? But unless you do like a super huge thick, thick line, you might lose it. But what? That's crazy. Oh, it's crazy. Look at that. Oh, oh, wee, oh, wee. Um, and then because it's said to do like on a clean slate, but I was like, what if I want to do like eyeshadow and stuff? But a lot of times, like this, I'll keep it pretty minimal anyway. So, and most I'll do my, I'll set it with the setting powder and then I'll add like on the crease, like I just did. Well, dang, okay, okay, I guess lashes. They have a white one too, so I guess if maybe you want like no liner, so you can do like a clear thing, that is nuts. But dang, I'm pretty much done. Wow, I am quick. <laughs> I am quicker than I thought. It's been less than like two minutes. Crazy. So I'm just gonna change my shirt because I don't like doing my makeup with whatever shirt I'm gonna wear because I'm super messy. So let me change my shirt and let me do my hair. All right, I think we're just gonna keep it straight since we do have some uh, volume there. And then in case I decide to curl it later, we are good to go. But I was like, oh, we're gonna go to the gym tomorrow. Probably, maybe not wash our hair. I don't know. You gotta plan these hairstyles out sometimes. But this is why I love, this is a nice like lob haircut. So especially when I do curl it, it's super simple and easy because ain't nobody got time. But then also I did use my Plavogue. This is the the, like two in one this is a brush and a hair dryer if you guys have not hopped on on this type of like hair dryer thing you know now when your hair soaking wet i took a shower walked the dog and just let it get you know damp saves so much time it adds like volume it adds shine it like straightens it too i don't have to like go in with that heat tool so i do have a uh what is it like coupon code link if you guys want to get and save money if not i'm just saying that's what i've been using but then when I just go in, I actually 
curl my hair with my strainer because it's quicker and it makes my curls last longer. My, my hair's been weird lately. And it just added these little earrings for the day for a pop of color, but wanted to talk about. So I am going to be doing some reels, some photos for some new products for Work Me Have for my business. So in case you guys are interested, just wanted to talk about them here. And the first one is a new color for the No Pares Mija t-shirts. So originally this one was in yellow and I keep restocking on that one, but I'm like, okay, some people are like, oh, do you have another color? Do you have another color? I'm like, it has, time has finally come where we can move to a new colorway, which I'm super excited about especially for the fall just to switch it up i feel like eventually who knows maybe all the different colors i want sweatshirts i love this one so much motivational even when you know you're working from home you don't want to be motivated you just want to chill <laughs> but then the other like kind of photo stuff i'll be doing is for our sweatshirts this is the bruja club sweatshirt hopefully you can see it but so it's just on the side it's embroidered and this is a collaboration piece with my friend uh megan you've heard Heard me talk about her before sorry my life is just filled with blazes dog hairs everywhere no matter where i store these so it's a chicago for keeps work me hat collaboration and i'm super excited because this is the first time where i can basically launch a product and donate a portion of the proceeds to a nonprofit of our choice so we are actually going to be donating 15 percent of the proceeds for each sweater for the month of october and november you can order this until november 21st and um the proceeds will be going to a local nonprofit here in chicago since we are working with chicago for keeps latinx especially too and it's going to be for the gage park latinx council so they're definitely a new not-for-profit for the community super excited and hopefully we can do more of these more profits more and more something i've has been a goal of mine since i started my business so super excited my other piece of jewelry this is uh from Angemer it's your con cariño I got it at a pop-up so she had different like type of stones I've talked about my um what do you call it uh rose quartz that I had and I wanted this one I forget what you call it it's like the blue lace agatite i forget how to call it i'll link it down below but i like this one since it did kind of talk about like communication stuff and it's like white but blue it's weird it's crazy um but i like it so i was like okay especially for like some of the photos i'm gonna be doing with that bruja one too and let me do my lips so i wanted to go brown i was like burgundy or brown well we got the burgundy here so the brown will go with both so i'm gonna go in with my nyx suede matte lip liner in the shade downtown beauty one of my favorite like dark browns from browns two of my favorite browns but i thought i'd mix it up i usually like my nyx lingerie push up uh lip pencil in teddy great choice but i thought i'd mix it up since i haven't really used this one too much this is the maybelline this is the ultimate lipstick in the shade more truffle love this brown it's like a nice ease into the brown brown because it's not too dark hmm? you see you see love it The next one is definitely darker. Almost forgot to spray my face. Gonna end with my Max Fix Plus. Uh, hopefully it doesn't mess my lashes up. And then to make it last, the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I gotta buy some more. So that is a completed look super easy on the face with the pop of color it glams it up a little bit more which is why i love a good pop of color it makes it easy it makes it look like you did a little bit more and then that brush also makes it look like i did a little bit more but i'll definitely have to update you guys how these lashes are going so far so good i'm gonna have to like stand out in the wind to see how they perform but this was the kish kish kiss lash glue liner feels good lashes feel nice let me know if you want to see some more to check it ready with me's or what other videos you want to see here on my channel because that's also something i was like do you want to see this do you want to see this i never know so comment down below what you would like to see next i know someone did comment before maybe my wedding makeup that i did uh let me know if you're 
not over that and you want to see a tutorial because I did my own makeup or what else, but always happy to hear your suggestions. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with the rest of my videos and I'll see you all next time.